Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now. Okay, so the first card that I'm looking at is giving me an indication of an ending. For some of you, there might have been a relationship that ended. There might have been some sort of union that abruptly ended as well. I also feel like this could be indicating even uh, for circumstances where individuals were just casually talking to people, right? So that energy specifically is showing to me that... You know, maybe the two of you are taking some time apart. Maybe the two of you are trying to figure things out. There could be an indication here that, you know, there's uh, this sort of sense to try to figure out emotions, to try to understand things on a deeper level. The next energy is showing to me that for some of you, you could be getting in your own way of love, for finding love, having love and having happiness, right? So this could be interpreted in many ways. I will clarify this card later on, right? But in a combination together, it could be, you know, indicating that you're not seeing something and that potentially you're not aware of what's really going on behind the scenes. I see, you know, you, you could be struggling to make a decision when it comes to your love life. You could be trying to figure something out. You might have more than one person that could be interested in you, right? I also feel like, you know, you could be involved in a third party situation. So what I'm seeing from this specific card is that there might be a difficulty for that individual to decide in terms of what they want, right? Okay. Someone is not connecting emotionally, could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like one of you is struggling to make a decision, struggling to come to terms with something. There could be difficulties in this situation. It could be causing havoc. Someone could be emotionally disconnected. Someone could also be very stubborn. So I feel like in the past, the two of you came together in a loving union, okay? It might have been that the two of you were attracted to one another, deeply in love, wanting to be together in a relationship. That could have been one of the scenarios that were playing out. The next energy is showing to me that going towards the future, there's this energy of trying to you know, solve something. I feel like there's this energy of difficulty that's coming up, right? And I'm picking up from the energies that you and this individual are not coping really well with this particular situation. This person you're dealing with, feeling very conflicted. I feel like they're watching you. I can't stop yawning, so I don't know why. Must be tired. This particular card is showing to me that someone wants a relationship. So this is a very complicated uh, situation because on one hand, you could be struggling to make a decision. For some of you, you could be in a third party situation or, you know, you could be dealing with someone who can't make up their mind what they want. And there could be new love coming into your life as well. So just pay attention to that. And so let's start clarifying the cards.
Yep, I'm seeing that things are changing rapidly. I'm also picking up from the energy that uh, things might have fallen apart. There might have been something that you were working very hard on. Something that you couldn't lose hope on when it comes to this specific situation. And what I'm picking up here is that things change rather rapidly, but, you know, not in a negative way. I feel like more opportunities were, you know, developed as a result of this. So there's definitely that sign that, um, you know, even though there was worry and there was that sort of energy of not knowing and uncertainty, there was also, you know, a sign that uh, there might have been new sort of developments and opportunities coming. So let's look at the card in the past position. Yep, I'm seeing here some very interesting, uh, you know, messages. I feel like if you're dealing, you know, with a water energy, it could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. They could be lying to you or hiding something from you, right, or watching you quietly. There's something that's very sneaky about this behavior of this individual. What I'm also picking up from the cards is that, you know, there's, this element of toxicity and frustration and not knowing which way to go in terms of this relationship. For some of you, you might be leaving behind, you know, someone that's very manipulative, someone that is just not trustworthy. I'm picking up there could be new love coming into your life. Let's see. Yep, there is definitely new love coming in, especially when this card pops up to clarify that card so i'm seeing you that you've been feeling trapped you've been feeling restricted and limited for some time perhaps uh, there was a lot of conflict in your life i'm sensing here yeah, that you need to start uh, putting yourself out there in terms of finding love and happiness right so let's explore this new love a little bit more Yep, I'm definitely seeing something new coming into your life. And it's sprouting up as a result of frustration. For some of you, you might have been dealing with someone that was um, a liar, perhaps even a narcissist, someone that's very emotionally manipulative, someone that wasn't, uh, you know, the type of individual you could trust. And this could be a water energy. This could be Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. For some of you, it could it doesn't necessarily have to mean that and lying and cheating doesn't have to always be the case it could even mean you know someone that was sneaky or not being completely honest sometimes people can be shady but not in a mean or bad way you know they just could be indecisive right but you can take it to mean whatever it means in your life because you know the right word to attach to the person you're dealing with right but I feel like after all that turmoil and difficulties, there's actually going to be happiness and celebrations that you're going to have. So it's not like the uh, end all and be all of the situation because I'm seeing, you know, be patient. The right person is coming into your life. You don't have to stress out or feel a sense of sadness or feel a sense of emptiness just because you were dealing with a complicated or difficult situation. It doesn't mean that it's always going to be like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed your tarot card reading. I do see someone new coming into your life and uh, bringing you happiness, bringing you love and joy. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.